My girlfriend is just like my mom. And then there's even better like traits. You should want somebody who's better than your mom, but at least has your mom's traits. Why? Because your mom's not gonna be here forever. You need a woman to hold you down. Every man needs a woman to hold them down. Take care of them, pamper them. Tell them that everything's gonna be all right. Be there for them when they cry when nobody else is around. Because whoa, what man cries in public? What, that's, that's soft. So, that's soft in the world's eyes. So every man, whether they admit it or not, even when they're sleeping around and they can be dogs, they can cheat, every man, they want a woman that's gonna ride for them. They want a woman that's gonna be for them, be there for them. And I have that in my woman and that's why I love her to death too. But everybody, every man wants that. So you learn from your mom at that young age what you want. You have a bad mom, you're not gonna respect women. You have a mom that's always there for you, always care for you. Oh, I respect women. I know the, the power of a queen. I know the power of a queen. The queen raises the cup to be a king. But then once you're trying to become that king, you need that dad perspective. You need that male perspective on how to, because to be the king, you're not dealing with multiple women and how to understand women like that. You're dealing with men trying to control power, take power, get money, learn how to live, learn how to take care of your kids. Like you get that from a king. So you have to learn from a king. So when the father is involved at that stage of his life, it's crucial and I'm learning from a king. I am learning from a king. That's why, if my dad, I made, I don't tell him every time I have an episode because he works so much. He's such a hard worker that he won't have time to see it because it just it wouldn't make sense. But if I show him this one, like I love you, dad. Oh, I don't even, I don't even call my dad dad. I call my dad daddy. Like it's still like young. Like um, like I love you. That's an old man. He's getting bigger, but. That's all right. He's lived enough in the, the fit days. He'll still be fit. He can get back to it, but he doesn't have to rush back to it. Let me own that that good body for now. Let me get that little shine. I remember when me and my dad were younger, we would always be competing with like athleticism. Oh, I'm faster. Oh, I can play basketball better. Oh, I can do more push-ups. We used to always compete. Oh, my body looks better than yours. Looking in the mirror and reflecting in the mirror like, nah, mine is better. That. Like I remember when me and my, when I was younger, me and my dad did that. And it's crazy, now he's just passing the wisdom on to me. Like our relationship, it's changed, but it's changed, it's perfect. Like I'm getting, I'm just soaking the game, just enjoying my time with my dad whenever I'm around him. So I appreciate those moments because it can't happen as much now because he's working so much. But I want to get to a point where I'm making enough money uh, that I could, and it doesn't even have to be a crazy amount but just amounts where he doesn't have to stress about little things as much. So I can get him a good car that, that works without so much hassle. I can get him, living at the GPS, I can get him, like little things, I can get him just fresh clothes, fresh gear, like with my clothing line, FDF, he supports, he wears it. And he like wears it with pride. Like one time he wore it with a Adidas jumpsuit, everything Adidas, jumpsuit, the pants Adidas, the shoes Adidas. And he had an FDF shirt right in the middle. That was love. That was perfect. I got the OGs wearing it. So, like, I love it. I respect it. And my dad knows a lot of people. So, he, he can put it. If I wanted him to, I haven't asked him to because I don't. That's, that's not what it is. It's out of love. But if I wanted to, I can ask him to push it. And he would do it because he's that supportive. He's a supportive father. He's a great guy. And... It'll get done and I'll make more money and I will always try to give it to him or ask him, hey, you want it? You can take it. He's the type that would just, hey, I helped you, but it's yours. Like, take it. He wants me to do well. He'll spend whatever it takes, whatever amount of money he has to help. And he, just seeing it happen is his excitement and his joy. So if I can just give back to him just as much as I give back. A lot of times people, we talk about how we want to give back to our mom. We want to give our mom a house. We want to do all of this, that's great. 
but like what about our pops like we got to give them something we don't have to give them the homes and all that we can give them the car we can give them the rims we can give them some nice cologne a big bottle of alcohol that's super luxury alcohol we can give them the boat rides we can give them the fishing and spending quality time like when we were younger so like we gotta we gotta praise the men too praise your mom you have to but you have to praise both parents that are involved if any parent is involved in their child's life praise them because not everybody has that and what they're doing is special this show is going to be a lot of episodes let me come on this side for you because there's no like i'm not perfect it's a live show there's no mistakes with a live show even if I fumble on words, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like, in Snapchat, there's a lot of times where you fuck up on Snapchat. A lot of times where you fuck up on Snapchat, you fuck up on Instagram or Facebook, you write the incorrect grammar, but it's like, it doesn't matter. It's like, hey, that's life. So with this, with the live episodes, I'm glad that I can move the camera around. I could, I could stumble on the camera. I can either, A, I can edit it out, or, I can just leave it. Like this is it's life. This is not that type of platform. This platform is this isn't Hollywood. This is not Hollywood. And if you want to improve, if you want to go that Hollywood route, hey, you can practice here. Well, well, you can't lose anything. And then you just keep improving, you get better. And then if Hollywood comes knocking on your door, at least you're prepared. You don't want it to be where you're just going crazy and you do ideas that you're not even like trying to improve on or get better with. You're not trying to improve your life. Somebody sees it, Hollywood can knock on your door, but you're not ready for Hollywood. You're not ready to last in Hollywood, you're just ready for a quick, your quick penny and your quick seconds of fame. But if you're prepared for it, if that door knocks, there's more wins, more life. <laughs> That's funny, Drake. That's probably what he meant when he made the album title. I don't know.